Welcome back everyone to Season 2 of Master Motor Bridged. I know you've been waiting a long time for this video, so I'll save the updates to the end. But for those of you who are new, here's a brief summary of Master Mode. Master Mode is a series of campaigns in the Polybridge 2 workshop that woke up, looked at the challenge levels, and chose violence. In other words, Kaizo Polybridge. Season 1 covered the main campaign, and Season 2 is tackling the weekly challenges. We left off in the final days of November with weekly challenge number 13 and are now deep into winter with some of the coldest months and coolest weeklies to date. It's Master Mode time! Week 14, Linked Loops. We've had 13 levels before this. The weeklies are done warming up now, and it's time to get back into the thick of it with two intersecting loop-de-loops. You can never have enough loops. Week 14, Master Mode. Help given. Buggies are faster. Master Challenge, go back to start. I mean, how hard can that be? If it works one way, it can work the other. See, my design is basically unchanged. Easy win! That's not supposed to happen. My did never break. Wait, I thought, I thought that broke. Week 15, high road, low road. You could build a fancy mechanism, but I cheap out and use springs for the low road and hydraulics for the, um, lot strength. Hey, 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 didn't that just break? Where was I? Oh yeah, I use hydraulics for the high road and part of the ramp is a counterweight, while the low road just droops down. It's a good thing the cab's brakes are trash so he can just slowly roll into his checkpoint to restart his engine. Week 15 Master Mode, help given, added scaffolding, and extra hydraulic phase. Master Challenge. No springs, 10 road limit, and added checkpoints. If you can't be inclined to count the checkpoints, we have to go around twice. A 720 degree rotation. But if you haven't noticed, I don't have a single hydraulic on this. Well, that's because this bridge is perfectly balanced, like all things should be. I just happen to have a small weight unbalancing it to start the rotation, which I then chuck into the ocean as fast as I can, while let momentum carry this the rest of the way. Week 16, Duck Duck Cruise. A fairly simple drawbridge where you'd blow your budget if you tried to lift it over the boats. Dipping the roads down lets us easily duck duck them under the cruise ships instead. Week 16 Master Mode, help given, budget increased, master challenge, truck stops in the middle and you can't pivot from the edge. You may have noticed, I changed what the second part of the challenge was, and that's because I made an effort to prove the challenge wrong. Both sides do not need to draw into the middle, there was a very small gap between the cruise ship and the speedboats and I was going to use it. This level is also a bit easier with the bridge broken up into smaller moving parts. Week 17, Ornamental Obstruction. It's Christmas! When the level was released. And there's a present under the tree. It's a yellow submarine! The secret of this level is a tuned mass damper in the water. Remember, I'm a mechanical engineer. I learned all kinds of fun stuff in university that I can apply to this silly bridge game. The counterweight has lots of joints, making it easily absorb the vibrations. The water has a slowing effect on it providing my damping, and gravity is pulling it down, providing my restoring force. Without that kind of weight, this thing would swing all over the place and snap. Week 17 Master Mode. Help given. Extra dynamic anchor on the tree, and nodes collide with tree. Master Challenge. To match limit, bigger boat, and we can't build outside the box. A bigger boat means a bigger bridge, which means a bigger counterweight. This bridge is engineered to perfection. That large tuned mass damper brings this bridge to a standstill, perfectly centered on the cruise ship's smokestack, with literally no room on either side. Week 
Not even the level creator solution is this clean. Week 18, Counterbalance. We can't get away from the weird weight-based stuff today, can we? If you ever wonder how such a large hydraulic contraption can work when they're only powered by one hydraulic, here's your answer. Counterbalances. The left and right elevators weigh the same and are moving in opposite directions, so the hydraulic only has to work against the momentum of the bridge since the masses cancel out. Week 18 Master Mode. Help given, budget increased, and floating platforms are removed. Master Challenge. The checkpoints have now been moved, and there's only one hydro. Are you starting to see how this kind of stuff works now? My two platforms counterbalance themselves, and I power them with an easy 180. I've got a tutorial on how to make that if you're interested. Mine is just roided out, because there's a lot of inertia in this bridge, and it would snap otherwise. Week 19, well, er, wheel of a time. Round and round we go. How it moves, no one knows. By no one, I must add a disclaimer that I haven't cared to look into it, but if you do know, feel free to leave it in the comments. Week 19 Master Mode, help given, more budget, more springs, more flags, but more monster truck, look at it go! Week 20, Australian Imports. Kiwi Post just delivered us this vehicle, but the Gronks didn't flip it right side up for us. Nothing that a falling road, nothing that a big old lever can't fix. There it was again. I'm not seeing things, am I? I distinctly remember that something was breaking, but it's not broken. What's going on? No, 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 we're not moving on. What is going on? We're not moving. Week 20, Master Mode. Help given, significant budget increase. Master challenge, moved checkpoints up and limited roads and hydraulics. Now they don't have easy access to a counterweight, hydraulic lever it is. Now we could just have had a flat road up near the top, but that's hard. This Luna has exactly five horsepower. It can drive up a slope. But it also has one acceleration, so it's not exactly gonna do it fast. I'm just gonna speed up the playback. Week 21, Pocket Loops. Each loop is in its own pocket. And as an added challenge for myself, I built it entirely on grid. Yay. Disconnecting the first loop from everything else really helped with the butterfly effect. I also did reverse checkpoint order for fun because going in the checkpoint order seemed hard. Week 21 Master Mode. Help given. A singular spring. Master Challenge. Checkpoint order is now enforced. I mean, I should have guessed. The start is much of the same, on grid and not attached to anything. Now the checkpoints may be in order, but the flag doesn't have to be. Reusing the path allows me to save on budget a little bit. Into the drink with you! Week 22, Rock Slide. These rocks collide with everything, so why make them fall far? We need an arch anyways to hold the bridge. May as well do double duty with catching rocks.
Week 22 Master Mode. Help given. Budget increased, and we get to keep the springs. Master Challenge. Added limos and replaced jets with blimps. By added limos, they mean 14 max weight limos, one for each previous master mode level featuring the limo, have been dumped here because apparently this is the intergalactic limo disposal pit. In addition to the rocks, we now have to deal with limos. But that's not all, because there are limos in the rocks. We need to leave gaps for the limos to fall through, and we can catch the rocks on the springs, but not all of them, because the limo is in the rock. The limo in the rock can't be caught because it weighs over 250 polygrams. Let's just say this level was not easy. At all. I mentioned the limos and rocks, right? Week 23, High Jump. Now this level is prime spring cannon material, but I didn't- Hey! Hey! This isn't my solution! No, that breaks! No, you can't do that! I didn't budget this level! That is not my so- Now this level is prime spring cannon material, but I didn't do that. I'm not all the great with those, so I just made a large lever arm. We have the hydraulics after all. Okay. I swear for a moment, I had deja vu. I need to figure out the hell's going on before level 5. Week 23, Master Mode. Help given. Absolutely f**k all. Master Challenge. The compact car wants to touch God. What they mean by that is the checkpoint is higher. Much higher. And they put the word God on top. Now, I know the compact car can touch God. But the question I had was... Can I touch God? So after building my own Tower of Babel, I learned that I indeed could touch God. However, God made sure that my tower was unsustainable, so I just had God hold my ramp for me. Week 24, Imperfect Symmetry. The gap between the two cars is the same distance. However, there is no clean way to move the bridge from one side to the other with just a single hydraulic. And now that I say that out loud, I'm pretty sure someone is gonna come here explicitly to prove me wrong. Week 24, Master Mode. Help given. Taxi has a delay. Master Challenge budget decreased, and no hydros. So you know how I said I had to use hydraulic spaghetti since there was no clean point of rotation? Well, it turns out we don't have to be exact, just close enough. Though this thing does need four mechanical locks all stacked up on themselves just to keep this bridge in place, as it is the only way it stays flipped to the other position. Week 25, Bus Road. We have a bus, and we only have road. It doesn't get much simpler than that. Building close to the water lets us save on budget. Week 25, Master Mode. Help given. Budget increased, 
and platforms lowered. Master challenge? There's a limo on the bus. Hey, hold on a second. Thought you belonged in the other level. What the hell are you doing here? I mean, it is a nice reprieve from the other limo level, but the main strat of this level is to chalk the limo's wheels and add a small ramp at the front just to help him get on the platform. Otherwise, it's basically the same. Week 26, Earthwork. The dozer was moving some dirt around, and the limo got caught up in a pothole in that dirt. The left side is kind of neat in that it's mostly held up by that hyper-compressed spring, but when the earthwork happens, the road is tensioned, allowing it to take more force. Week 26, Master Mode. Help given? None. Master Challenge. Added two vehicles. Not what is this? That hey hold on, that's an illegal length spring! And road! These are all illegal budgeting strategies! This is no budget solution, this is cursed! What is causing this? I gotta figure this out before the level completes and just completely blacks out. Aha! There it is! That's the mark of the budgeter! And they've been in my game! I knew it! I knew there's something going wrong! Now, if I remember from the replays, the Coven of Budget do not show the true price of their bridges, lest the design be stolen. So if I just delete this, it will reveal the true cost. Week 26 Master Mode. Help given. Wait. Oh, man. Do I have a headache? Wait a sec. Oh, no. Budget. Budgeters. Budget shavers were here. I... I remember. They've been messing up my weeklies. And I caught them. In the act. How could I have forgotten? They were in nearly half the levels this season. Right, now, where were we? Oh uh, yeah, um, the final winter level. Uh, Master Challenge. Wait, no, I already did that part. <clears throat> this level is much of the same compared to the non-Master Bud variant. The added vehicles are a monster truck, which is reusing the limo bridge, which is why it is split in two, and an ambulance that shares the same parking spot as the school bus. A weird level for a weird winter. But hey, at least it's finally done. This video's featured level is Gotta Go Up to the Sky, Normal, by Fantakella. It's baby's first loop hell, but let's talk updates. Things have changed since my announcement last Master Mode video. I don't get as much time off to stream slash edit videos due to some real big changes at work. I will continue to produce videos, but at a severely reduced rate. As such, I need to start thinking about a 1000 subscriber special. Yes, I know I'm about 200 subs away, but at this rate I need to start thinking of stuff to get it done in time. Let me know what you want to see in the comments. Someone already suggested speedrunning. I don't know how I feel about that. Additionally, if you missed the previous non master Mode video, you will know I have secret projects I am working on, or want to be working on. This is going to space out the master Mode videos a bit more. However, that's not all bad news. One of my secret projects releases today. So you know how I said I was a beta tester and a level designer for some of World 5 and 6 levels? Well, Steamtown challenge levels are now available in-game. Yes, I told you the wait would be worth it. Now let's wrap up this wild winter. You got some levels to beat. You've been watching the Lazy Comet, and I hope you'll keep me in your orbit. <laughs>